this video tutorial of the space shooter for VR, in this case for Google VR. So um, if you go to scenes inside the main package folder, you will find the following. You will have uh, one scene that is the asteroid scene that I'm going to play right now. And then you have the anime scene. Both are really similar. They have uh, almost the same um, structure. But one of them is to play um, avoiding the asteroids, as I'm going to show you. And the other one is to shoot your enemies that are going to appear during the gameplay. Okay, so you have this. And you are able to move, moving your head. So now I'm moving my head up and down. So I can move my ship up and down. And then I can move my head and rolling it to the left and to the right. And that gives that movement, as you can see. Okay, and if you crash uh, with an asteroid, the game will restart automatically. So, I'm going to explain the different uh, objects in the scene. You have, first of all, the game, um, the GVR VR main, that is going to be uh, your headset. Then you have the player ship, that is composed by a series of objects. And the most important ones are these ones here in the cylinders that are the laser barrels that are used uh, to instantiate the the lasers in the in the following scene. Okay, so uh, the player the player ship is composed by a rigid body, box collider, and another box collider that is going to be the shape of the of the wings. Okay, as you can see, we have the shape of of the uh, of the ship and then of the wings here and then we have the ship movement script that uh, is going to uh, move your ship accordingly to your head as I showed you before and what you need there is the main camera which is going to be the head and uh, you have the rotating speed and the movement speed in order to change the uh, the time it's going to take your ship to move uh, accordingly okay and finally you have the box limb that is going to be the distance the the uh, player is going to be able to move to okay so it's going to be the, the horizontal and the vertical uh, distance uh, the demo input manager is going to be a part of of the gvr 1.1 also as well as the player with the camera this is all this is all three stuff and the event system. Okay, all of these are are inside the package of the Google VR. Okay, that are going to be inside your scene. Then we have the customized customized game objects. So there you have the asteroid. So it's just um, um, subfolder uh, in the hier hierarchy in which you can uh, modify whatever you want and then hit uh, play. Uh, applied to uh, change the prefabs, okay? So you have that and you have the laser beam also, okay? So you have it there. Uh, finally, uh, about the environment, you have the particle system that is um, going to give you that effect, that moving effect, as you can see. Then the point light that is going to give the, the, um, the lighting to the scene. And then the asteroid manager. So the asteroid manager has uh, the asteroid limb box that is going to be the horizontal and vertical axis um, in which the asteroid is going to be placed. And then you have the time to deploy that is going to be the seconds that are going to pass uh, since uh, um, an asteroid is deployed. I'm not going to save it. And then we go to the enemy scene. So the enemy scene is uh, similar, but in this case, uh, what uh, we deploy are enemies that can shoot uh, laser beams. And at the same time, you are also able to, to shoot by clicking your magnetic trigger, as you can see. So you have those enemies that are shooting to you, at you, sorry. And you can go ahead and shoot them back and, and score. So that's the main idea. Okay, so you can see 
how I'm shooting at them. And whenever the laser hits you, uh, the game is over. I'm going to show you if I'm able to. Well, I'm not able to do it. Yeah, it's quite difficult to get hit in the game. Okay, now I'm hit, so the game is over. Okay, nice. So um, again, we have the uh, GBR viewer main, the demo input manager, and the player that is going and the event sense system that are the main uh, objects that you use for the GBR main 1.1. Then we have the pre the player ship that has the same things: the rigid body, the box collider, etc. And then we have the ship movement, but we have also the player shooting. So in the player shooting, um, we have the time between shots that is going to be like the re reload time you have to shoot. And then we have the start ref, which is uh, an array in which we select the different points in which the laser are instantiated. Okay. And finally, the laser beam. That is going to be the prefab we use. Okay, so the laser beam, as you can see it here, is just the prefab we are using to uh, create the laser effect. Um, the, okay, so the enemy ship has a similar structure to the player script. As you can see, we have the enemy movement that um, gives you, as you can see here, um, the speed of the enemy. That is going towards you. Then the time to destroy it because uh, whenever the the enemy surpasses the player is going to be destroyed. And then you have the explosion uh, prefab that is used to simulate the explosion whenever the enemy gets hit. And uh, finally, you have the enemy shooting script also that has the time between shoots that is set to five. And then you have also the star ref which are the barrels, the points in which the, as you can see, the uh, lasers are going to be instantiated. That are that one and that one. Um, you have also the laser beam enemy, if you want to change it, that is here, okay? And uh, regarding the environment, everything is the same. You have the uh, particle system that is going to simulate the movement of the player, the point light, and in this case, instead of the asteroid the manager, you have the enemy manager that is going to be uh, similar because in this case, we select the enemy ship as the prefab we're going to instantiate. And then uh, we have the enemy limb box that is going to be the limits in which the, the enemy is going to be created and then the time between uh, the points. So thanks for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please write it. You have your our email in this description link, and I I hope you consider it downloading this package. Um, we consider that it's a good start for a VR application regarding a space shooter.